there we go okay so here we go you guys I am my own model today and these are press on nails that I did on myself and I just glued them on and I buffed the surface of the nail just pretend this is a full set okay so we're going to use our imagination and let me show you really quickly how crayon pop looks like and you can get it in four colors and they are transparent so the really the shirt thank you Shelly hi from Miami looking hot Max thank you Carmen so crayon pop is transparent so you can use it by itself or you can layer them with another color you can do like for example a design with a black base and then do the design in white and then put the crayon pop on top and it looks really cool it looks like a um kind of like a stained glass or shattered glass it's just so dope from Apple Valley this is Tijuana Baja California un beso Tijuana so we're going to be using all four colors today because I'm going to be showing you guys how to use them differently. Oh, geez. They're brand new, so they're hard to open. So let's start out with the pink because pink is one of my, it's not my favorite color, but it's one of my favorite colors. So I'm just going to show you guys really quickly what it looks like over the whole nail. So you can see you can get that really cool stained glass looking nail see isn't that dope and then I personally like to use them with oh sorry I was out of frame aren't they dope and this is called of course as you guys already know the crayon pop collection and you can see completely transparent jelly like colors it's so much fun to play with and I like to seal them with number 48 precious minerals which is a rainbow top coat just to give it a really pretty shimmer glittery sparkly sparkly realness so that's what the color looks like I'm gonna take it off because I'm gonna do a design because you guys know I don't like plain one colored nails I want I want that's fabulous aren't they dope and we've had these out for I would say like maybe a year or two but Miss Lucy Frank requested I do a design with it, so I gotta, gotta represent for Lucy Frank. So, I'm gonna start out with the pink, because we're gonna do a rainbow. So do the pink halfway on the nail bed, just like that, and then just do it in different places on every nail, okay? And it doesn't have to be even. It doesn't have to be perfect because remember, that's what nail art is. It's about having fun. And just place it wherever you want the color, okay? Remember, you can go back in, add more, add less, take away. Esas gotas de arte no es gel en esmalte y la colección se llama Crayon Pop. So now I'm going to take, let's do blue because I like blue and pink mixed together because that makes purple. Look at that. And you can already see the rainbow effect starting to happen. And if the color overlaps, it's okay because we are going to go in later with the ombre brush and just blend out the colors to make them really, really seamless. Isn't this dope? And then the pinky, I'm going to make it just a little bit different, okay, you guys? So that way I can put another color in between because we have four colors we want to showcase. Look at that. Isn't that dope? So now let's go in with the yellow. Look at that. So cool, right? And remember, you can do every finger different. There's no right or wrong. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is nail art. So just have fun with it. That's the most important part is that you have fun with it and really do something different. And then let's put this one right here in between. Just like that. That's what's so incredible about Crayon Pop is that it's really forgiving, especially for somebody that is just starting out with nail art or is kind of scared. Crayon Pop really is very forgiving and it's very easy to layer and do lots of really unique designs with it. And now the green. Isn't 
And the consistency is a little bit thicker than traditional gel polish because they are transparent colors, but nevertheless, very easy to work with. Look at that. Isn't that dope, you guys? Do you love it? It looks like, like a rainbow shattered glass nail. It's so dope. Oh my gosh. So now I'm going to take my ombre brush, if I can find it. Luckily, I did. And you can order them in a set as well. And there's four colors in the set. And then I'm going to just blend out the colors of using the pistachio brush, which is our ombre brush. Here she is. Isn't she dope? So my pistachio brush was a little bit dirty, but as you guys already know, I like to clean my art brushes in monomer. I don't like to clean them in acetone. And why is that? Because monomer, cotton candy monomer contains oils that will actually nourish the brush together. So pretty, right? Can you buy the colors separately? Yes, yes, you can, my love. Or you can buy them individually or in a set. Okay, so I'm just going to take the colors and just really lightly blend out the seam where the colors meet, okay? With the tip of the brush. So that way I get a really seamless application. So pretty. And I kind of like that it doesn't like not too perfect because I just feel like it makes it more unique. And it's really important you give the colors a few seconds to kind of self-level out. So that way you get the best gradition possible. Do you guys love it? And don't forget you guys, at the end of the video we're going to have one lucky winner. Ooh, look at the pinky how cool it came out. So pretty. And then before we cure, what are we going to do? We're going to do our famous little magic trick. Wipe the sides to keep the nail nice and narrow. And this is just going to remove any excess gel that might have ran onto the sides. Beautiful. And then I'm going to bake this for 30 seconds. I'm going to get this out of the way. And you can see, you guys, this this kind of design is so fast and easy to do. And when you do it, your clients are just going to be wowed. So while that's curing, I'm going to go over again what number of the colors they are. Remember, this is Precious Minerals Crayon Pop Collection. So you can log on to enalcouture.com and look up enalcouture.com Precious Minerals Crayon Pop Collection. And the colors are 27, 30, 28, and 29. So all these four colors make up the Crayon Pop Collection. Could you use this with fun gel? Yes, of course you can. Bling, bling time. Okay, look how dope that is. So now I'm going to use... Precious Minerals number 48, which is the Rainbow Top Coat. Hi, Gina from New Zealand. Okay. And I'm going to do a very thin layer on top. And this is just going to melt the colors together and just make them really, really dope and seamless. Look at that. I'm just going to add just a little bit of glitter. Look at that. Just a really pretty hint of holographic rainbow unicorn glitter realness. And I feel like these kind of like trends are very summery. So they're a lot of fun to do right now that it's very, very warm here in Disneyland. Look at that. So dope, right? So sparkly. So candy jelly. I love the crayon pop collection. So now let's bake this 30 seconds because I'm going to go in with gummy gel and bling these nails out. It looks like a unicorn. Oh my God, it totally does. I love it. So dope. I love it. Super pretty Mac. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Lisa Comfort is watching. And then the brush I used is the Petite Macaroon pistachio brush which is our ombre brush it's so pretty rainbow unicorn realness that's right so i'm just flash curing this layer for 30 seconds and look how pretty that is oh my gosh you guys it's like candy so 
so pretty. So now let's do my favorite part and bling these out. So we're going to use, of course, the number one gel in the world for bling, gummy gel. And then I'm going to use my gel six pink magic brush. And I'm going to apply some diamonds on these bad boys. So pick up our brush and wherever we're going to want rhinestones. Go in and apply the gel, just like that. So apply a nice dollop wherever you want your diamonds. Now let me ask you guys this. Are diamonds a girl's best friend? Or are they a boy's worst enemy? Let me know in the comments below. Do you love it? Everybody needs some gummy in their life. The number one gel in the world for rhinestone application. No, gummy gel is not necessarily extremely thick. It's a very unique consistency, and it is designed specifically for diamond applications. So it's not designed to build nails. It's not a builder gel. It's a gel designed just for diamond use. And now I'm applying, of course, the number one gel top coat in the universe, shiny gel, to seal everything in place. So a nice even layer of shiny gel over the whole nail so that we don't have to go back in and apply any gel on top unless you want to. And that's a really cool technique that gives you the opportunity to give you options as a nail artist to be able to decide whether you want to put more gel on top or not. Because some people like it, some people don't. So it just really depends on you, the artist, and your client's needs. How long are you keeping these nails on for? I'm going to take them off actually immediately after this video, after I take some pictures. That's right, gummy and shiny gel work together. Often imitated, never duplicated. Because if you use other gels, girl, it's not going to work. But I've seen people try, but no thank you. So let's take some diamond holics. I like this collection too because it has lots of transparent diamonds. Just to keep with the transparency look today. And now let's go in and apply... Some of the whoops. I'm using the bling tool to pick up the diamonds. And then we can go in and pick up some more beads and just use a whole bunch of different stuff. Diamonds are forever, that's right. Leave them a bit. No, I have to work. I can't do anything with nails on. And as you guys know, I always like to mix up all my diamonds and just really have fun with it. Because that's what nail art is. It's about having fun. Look at that. So pretty. So pretty. Let's bling them out. Do I sell the big, the, this is sold in, um, by itself, it's sold empty, and then you can just push, purchase all of our Diamond Holic sets and just mix them up because that's what I like to do. So that way I keep it fresh and keep it unique. So pretty. And then we can add... Let's add a little pearl. So pretty. Oh my gosh. And these clear rhinestones are just really dope too. 
they just give the nail a really dope transparent effect. And all of the products as you guys already know are available at enailcouture.com, the best nail products on planet Hollywood. Whoops. Look at that, how much fun they are. I need this collection in Vegas, yes. So dope. So now let's finish up and put more diamonds on. Because you guys know I love diamonds too much in my life. Ooh, look at the little seashell. Perfect for the summer. These nails are totally giving me mermaid unicorn realness. Set another little pearl. Oops. Where'd it go? So if your bling tool doesn't want to stick, all you have to do is rub it with the tip of your fingers to warm up the wax. And that will help the rhinestone stick a lot better. How oh, pretty. Are you planning to come to Orlando? Not till next year for sure. Oops. And now the pinky. Let's do another little seashell on the pinky. Keep with the mermaid realness theme. And you guys can see, we've been doing a lot, and the rhinestones have not moved at all. They've been good girls and stayed in place. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. So now I'm going to go in with my liner zero brush. And pick up some of the gold BB Mini Pearls that are in my Diamond Holic set and going to fill in the gaps and accent the nail. So just go in and add gold BB Mini Pearls wherever I feel they are necessary. And these just really fill in the gaps, fill in anything that may be missing in the design. It just gives it a really flawless, seamless look. Do you guys love it? I can't wait to see what you guys create with the Precious Minerals Crayon Pop Collection. Because you're going to have so much creative freedom with this collection, you guys. And it's fun to go back into kind of like our nail vault and check out all the amazing products that Eno Couture has and all the variety. We have so many colors. We have almost 700 gel polish colors, you guys, between both gel polish collection and Precious Mineral. 
Look at that. So you as an artist have so much creative freedom when it comes to really designing and making unique designs with our products. So much creative freedom. Because remember, nail art knows no boundaries. Max, you should really start your own nail crystal line. We do have Diamond Holic. You rock, Max. Oh, thank you. Who said that? Sherry, that's really kind. Phone calls during live. Please don't call me during live. I actually don't really like to talk on the phone, believe it or not. But I'd rather talk on, talk on the phone than text. But I'd rather not do both. I'd rather go live. A little bit more right here. Beautiful. Do you guys love it? And then before we cure, wipe the side, wipe the side, wipe the side, wipe the side. Up the side, wipe the side, up the side, wipe the side. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. These nails are ready for for the beach. And we're gonna bake that for whoa one minute. And I'm gonna get these out of the way just in case I won't don't drop them because you guys know me, I drop everything. Susan Lamson, can you give me the the Vietnam girl name and phone for me to order some powder? And she give me sold up, but I can't. I don't have anybody in Vietnam right now, unfortunately, as a distributor. Oh my god, I might have to do these for Vegas this weekend. Oh my gosh, how exciting! Hey, Sugarfoot, hi, bling bling, bling to the filth. Oh my gosh, you know it. Where are you located in Disneyland? Beautiful, yes. Heart Eyes, Max the Nail Master. Thank you. Max, did you ever work in a salon like before having your own brand? I did. I worked in a salon for a very long time. Close to maybe over 10 years. Because I've been doing I've been in the nail industry for almost 20 years. Same, I prefer emails or texts. So I love watching you live and you're so talented. Oh thank you, Storm. That's really kind of you. I love those nails. Yes, he had his own salon. He no longer does nails on regular customers, only on Playmates. You're giving me the never-ending story realness. Oh my gosh, totally, so much. I miss you too, Cindy. So simple but so extravagant. Yes, look at that. Never-ending story, Barbie, unicorn, mermaid, realness, summer Barbie nails. Look at that. And these are press-ons. So that way if somebody comes for the shape or the cuticle... Just so you know, girl, there are press-ons. Oh, you got fired recently from a salon? Well, don't give up. Love you. Thank you. The bling master. Ooh, I like how that sounds. And then just a little bit of cuticle oil on the phalanges. Keep these hydrated. So beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that, you guys. Dun, da, 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 da. How long did it take you to do a set of nails when you first started? Mm, I would say about an hour. Hour and a half. Just depending on what kind of nails you were doing. Look at, at these bad boys. You guys love them? So now you guys know how to play around with the crayon pop and precious minerals rainbow top coat. I will be back on maybe around 4 or 5 Arizona time. So for the giveaway, do you guys want the collection or do you guys want the actual nails that I did on myself? Let me know in the comments below. Hola desde Puerto Rico, un besote. Aren't these dope, you guys? And really easy to use. And of course, these rhinestones will never, ever come off because they are applied with shiny gel and gummy. 
Cindy said, I need these gels. Well, you can order them. You can order them with me or with my dear homegirl, Nikki Stevens, who is our distributor in Oregon. Max, where are you from? I am from enelkator.com land in 